हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल नॉलेज ट्वेंटी फोर इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट क्लास एंड ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट फीचर विच इज डेटा एब्सट्रेक्शन सो वी स्टार्ट विथ वॉट इज डेटा एब्सट्रेक्शन डेटा एब्सट्रेक्शन इज यूज फॉर हाइडिंग द इंटरनल डिटेल्स और इम्प्लीमेंटेशन डिटेल्स फ्रॉम द यूजर एंड represent only the essential information to the user to understand this concept we take a real life example of fan we know that when we press the switch then fan is on and when we again press the switch then fan will be off but we don't know what is the inner mechanism of switch and fan that how it is happening and what is happening so this is the abstraction so same in c++ we use the concept data abstraction with which ensure that hiding the internal details and represent only the useful information to the user in c++ data abstraction is achieved by using two ways the first way is using the access specifier in class we use access specifiers so the members defines internal implementation can be marked as private by this these private variables will not directly access by the outside the class and the useful information which is very relevant to the users which will be marked as a public so public or different users or outside the class we can access the function and the private functions or private members can be accessed by the public function so this is the first way now the second way is using the header files in c++ we use so many files header files and libraries for example if we have to calculate the power of a number then we use the power function of math.h header file without rewriting the code and internal implementation code of the power function and we have to simply use the power function so this is the abstraction now we will see the simple example where data abstraction is applied so this is the class abstraction and in this we are using two access specifiers private and public so in private we use int a and read function so a and read function is a internal details which is hide from the outside the class and then we use public in which we define get function so get function is accessible to the all the users of the class and again this get function will access the data members which is private means public get function will access the read function and the a variable also so this is the concept shows the data abstraction here we explain two questions related to data abstraction thank you